Howdy, Survivor! Welcome back to another build tutorial in Ark Survival Ascended. Today, we're building this Frontier House, or Starter House. For me, it was a post office. It's really anything you want it to be. It's just a nice Frontier House using the new Frontier skins of the DLC. But if you have a friend that has it and he gives you the skin, you can also build it, of course. At least, at the moment, that's how it works. This build does include a little bit of overlapping of structures, so I don't believe it's possible on official. You'll have to do some different additions or maybe just go for a flat roof instead of the design that I'm using to save yourself a little bit of a headache. With that being said, let's get into it and let's start building. Of course, we want to start out by building the foundation. This time it's going to be four by three. And then on the right side, but you could also do it on the other side if you want to. You have an addition of two foundations as well. So it's not too big, but also not too small. It's a nice little frontier house that you can use as a shop in your western town or just as your main house in your base. Okay, then we'll actually add in some ceilings to the front here as well for a little porch. And on the back, we're actually also going to add in a porch like this. So just around the corner of the building, basically. And that's a pretty good start. That basically shows us where our porch is going to be, where our back entrance for the uh, staff or just an extra entrance to your house is going to be as well. Now, of course, depending on your situation, you will probably want to add in some stairs somewhere. So here in the middle, we definitely want a stair to access the porch there. And then here to the side, we also want one. In my case, I would need a second one just because the terrain is pretty steep on the side. But usually you should be good with just one stair over there. And then what I like to do is considering the porch. Um, if you're connecting more buildings to each other, like I've done over here in my town, multiple connected next to each other you probably can connect the porch up to the next one otherwise i like to use ramps on the end to be able to get on and off on the side as well and then we want to take out some pillars and reinforce the uh ceilings the porch over there we actually also want to make sure that we get some here on the corners for the building as well easier usually to add them above as well just so they snap more easily and then here for the porch we want to have pillars underneath as well here i would need two just because of my landscape but normally probably only one and we'll add in one there for that corner as well we'll actually want one in this corner too and then of course for this little side bit we want them as well it's basically to help start seeing the shape of the main building and the porches on the side. Okay, and then we actually want to also add in some beams to the floor as well. Just not where we have the doors. So two over here. Keep this one open because that's where the door will be. You can just have them connecting all the way up on the side here. Keep the corner open again. And then of course we have the little side addition here as well. You could potentially add in an extra beam here if you want to, but it's not necessarily needed. Then I like to add in some railings as well for the porch. If you can, you can place them next to the stairs here as well. But these one on the front for me at least aren't steep enough. But obviously here we can definitely add them in as well. And we want some railings here because this is a pretty high porch as well. We actually also probably want to add in a pillar here just so that the staircase is a little bit more supported. But again, for me right now, you really see where this porch is because it's quite steep on this side. Usually it's probably more like this and then you don't notice it too much. Okay, then it's time to build the front of the building. We want to add in a door right there. And then we can actually add a normal wall on top of that as well. Then over here... We're going to take out some quarter walls and we're going to connect them up. By the way, it's your own decision whether you want to use the walls, etc. the normal way or flip them around to get a different texture. I would just look around to the buildings next to it and have some variation in it, especially if you're using the Frontier skin everywhere. 
So we make this square with the quarter ceilings and then we will add a tall doorway to it like so. So we can make a custom window out of it. You want to take out a thin pillar, make sure you get the right snap points, snap them in like this. Then get the thin beams as well and we make a little cross section like so, which will be our custom window design. And then to make it even look better, we can have a beam above and below the window as well. So it looks like a proper window with supports and everything. And then it's actually getting very easy. We just want to have a layer like so, another layer with normal walls, and then two quarter walls on top in the middle. This leaves you plenty of space to add in a nice sign. For example, for me, this was my post office design. So you would add in a nice little sign on top of the roof or the walls here to signal that. Now, of course, we can continue the pillars all the way up as well, just like so. And we'll actually add in a little roof above our porch. So we want to take out some ramps and just place them like this. And then we can get our thin pillars and make them go down from the roof just like so until they reach the porch and then we have a nice little porch with a nice little overhang as well nice and shaded and if you are building like a western town and you want to signal what kind of shop or whatever it is you might want to have another little pillar stick out a thin pillar because you can have a hanging sign underneath here to signal that to signal what kind of shop or what kind of place this is of course, of course, we also want to add in the doors to this as well. Okay, then we're going to start here on this side where we have the little addition. We want to have just two normal walls here on both sides of the building. And then we can actually start filling this in as well. We want to have two normal walls right there. And then we want to have some windows over here on this side, adding in the windows as well. And then we can add in these sloped walls on top, like so. We're going to take out our quarter walls and make a little edge above this, continuing all the way, connecting up the normal wall again. And then we can actually have a beam going across like so. We want to take out our roofs and line it up, so cycle through the snap points until you get like this because now you have a little overlap on the side and you can just connect three roofs like this overlapping to both sides and then we'll have some beams going across the edge of the roof to connect it all up and that is almost it you want to you want to grab some pillars and extend them like so you want to have the pillars extended there as well and here you want to even make sure that it reaches all the way up till that top part right there. Okay, then it's time to work on the back of the building. We want to start with adding a door here so we can have access to our back porch. Then we want to take our normal walls and fill it in too high like this. So basically all normal walls except for the door. We of course want to fill in the door as well. Then we want to take out our quarter walls and add two over there and two over on this side as well. So it basically lines up with the other side that we've already done. We'll take out our sloped walls and place them on top like this. Okay, for right now we want to temporarily place down two quarter walls like so. So we can snap our sloped walls right there. Take out one of them, add back in a normal wall, and then we have to try and pick up the quarter wall that we still have here. You should be able to get it on one of the sides, and now you can remove it, and we have this one aligned perfectly, and we have the snap points to get this roof shape in total. It all will make sense why we do it like this a little bit later on, and then we want to make sure that we connect this pillar onto this top as well okay then we can actually start filling in the roof as well we want to make sure that we overlap by one right here 
And then we can just start from the front and line it up. You will have a little bit of an overlap right there. Don't worry about it too much. We'll have to grab our quarter ceilings here and connect them to the top of the roof like this. Grab a quarter wall as well just to create this little shape here. Uh, this is so we have an extra snap point and we can add in this one right here. For now, just to make it easier, I'm going to add it here first on the opposite side. And then we can get this snap point on this side. So they're slightly misaligned. But now we can align it right on this side. And we can do the same here as well to get the right snap points. And we can connect them all the way up until the front of the building as well. Now, before we can finish the roof on this side, we actually need to finish the entire wall on this side. Depending on what you're building, if you're building a western town, maybe you're connecting it. Normally, I would have this wall just completely flat and I can connect a other building to it. But for this design and if you want to be able to use it like standing on its own, we're going to do it a little bit more special. We're going to start out with some quarter walls. We're going to make a little shape like this, basically another square so we can fit in one of the custom windows. And then we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side here as well. So we have two of these shapes going on and we'll add in one more layer of quarter walls. So basically it's all quarter walls on this side until this point. Now we want to add in our tall doorways like this and we can grab our thin pillars and make our custom window design. Make sure to add in these ones as well, crossing the beams. And then we do the same here for this window. And then, of course, we can add ones to the top and bottom as well, just so that it all works out. And it looks really nice. I really love these custom windows design. If you don't like them, you can also just go for the normal, regular vanilla windows. We do also want to add in a beam right here just to mirror that beam that we have going on the other side as well. And now we can continue the roof. We can snap one here to the end to create a little overlap. And then, of course, start from right here and connecting the roof up like this and do the same thing for the next layer. Then we want to grab our beams and have a nice beam on the edge of the roof going like this. And the same thing for up here as well. And of course, the same thing on this side too. And then we're pretty much done. But now this is where the real transformation takes place. The only special thing is here on the back. You want to change these two, these three actually, to the glass texture to get a nice tall window. This one on top as well. So you can see the window adds in a nice little curve. And then we can basically change everything else to the normal frontier texture. Of course, you can always choose to have your doors as saloon doors or any other all the variations that we have available. But yeah, we can just change everything to the frontier skin to really see what our little post office or frontier house or whatever you want this building to be is going to look like. So just go around and update all the textures and then of course one last thing you want to change these windows to the glass texture because that just looks a whole lot nicer as well and then we pretty much have our little building all the way completed we got a pretty nice roomy interior probably want to update these little textures that you might not spot as well just so that you know they don't stick out that much and then here for the side addition that we have, we can actually also close it off to the rest of the room. If you really want to separate it, maybe turn it into like a little bedroom or something like that. You just add in a nice simple wall like this and update all the textures so that it looks good as well. But yeah, that is pretty much it. That's the entire design. So it's just a nice little simple frontier house, but I think it does look really nice now for the tour this time there's not that much different than the version that we just built but this is the original one that i did on stream um, as you can see i've got this sidewall completely flat because 
I'm probably at least going to connect another building to it on the side. Um, but yeah, you can see a nice little sign. This is a custom sign made with the Scribbles mod, which allows you to change the font and the size, etc. Just customize your signs a whole lot more. And then I have drawing paper behind it painted to the burn color, I think, from my memory. But um, yeah, just like a darkish brownish red color to have there. And then we have the little hanging sign here as well, as you can see, just to make it very clear what the purpose of this building is. Got some hitching posts on the side as well, just some pillars and beams, just to have a little bit of extra detail and life to the build. But that is pretty much it. I really like the uh, window on the back here. I did it slightly different. I have the first layer just being a normal wall. So the window is slightly uh, less big, but that's mostly because I'm facing the cliff and yeah, the view isn't great, but yeah, you can customize it. It's just a skin, of course, so it's really easy to change that around if you want to have it slightly different. But I haven't done any of the interior. I haven't even updated the skins here in the inside either. So yeah, the interior is completely up to you. If you really want, you could even add a second layer to the main portion of the build as well. If you need some more space on the inside. But there we go. That is it for the post office or the frontier house tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. See many more great building tutorials here on Ark Survival Ascended. Thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.